Not seeing your tarantula in a while? Panicking about what to do? Watch this video to find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapods. It's David and Pickles again today. Hope you're all doing well. If you like invert content, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, all helps me. Got to remind because it does help the channel. Today I want to be talking about an experience that me and Sophie had with our tarantula and hopefully it's going to help you, especially if you're a new tarantula owner, because this is a pitfall lots of people fall into. Me and Sophie have experience with tarantulas, but not in the home setting. So for this video, treat me as just another pet owner, because honestly, it was quite a scary experience, but it did have a happy ending. So those of you who may watch my channel know we have a dwarf tarantula, which is a Cerocosmus elegans, and they tend to be a terrestrial or fossorial species, which means they like to burrow, like to hide in the, the um, substrate a lot. And these guys and many other tranches are often marketed for beginner owners because they're so pretty and their market is easy to look after. Now, easy to look after depends on your perspective. I would say yes, they are easy to look after, but not for the reasons many tarantula shops give you. So let's talk about Ember, our Cirocosmo elegans. She came into our home. She did a lovely exploration of her enclosure. She loved moving around, exploring it. It seemed to be going very well for us. You know, every, all the behaviors were there that we expected. She, we expected her to borrow at some point because we were made aware of that and did our research about them. But that's when things got a bit funny for us. So we initially tried to feed her. She wasn't too interested and that was pretty normal. We were prepared for that. However, then Ember disappeared and some of the advice was just gently disturb the substrate at the top to find out where the burrow entrances were we couldn't find them so at this point we were like hmm so we did more research and we found out that this again is quite normal for these species especially in all fossorial tarantulas even some terrestrials will do this where they will just burrow disappear you not see them so again we thought okay no worries we'll keep offering food once in a while it's not going to be a problem but then the time scale got longer and longer and we did more research and people said, okay, that's normal. But then those voices that said it's normal started to change, especially for a juvenile. They started saying, well, maybe you should dig her up. Maybe you should. And at this point, I'm kind of glad we resisted that temptation. And here's why. Tarantulas, unlike other pets, are quite um, opportunistic in how they eat. And the way they behave is completely different. It's not unusual for a tarantula, even a little one, to just go seal up their burrows and hide. This can be done in pre-molt, during molting, or even if they feel stressed. And that's why not disturbing that substrate too much is so important, just leaving it alone. Now, the time scale we were dealing with was very long, and me and Sophie waited and waited and waited to the point where we were thinking of digging Ember up. We wanted to leave it as long as possible, and we're really glad we did, because eventually, after absolutely ages of just offering food, removing it, those burrows opened up and I'm gonna put a little picture on the screen. We saw these little feet poking up from one of the burrows and there was Ember. And we were like, we were just basically relieved because we thought she she died basically. And there she was waiting for it. And we thought, you know what, let's see, she's right there. Let's try on a mealworm. She may not have webbed or anything, but she may want it. So we poked it there. I sort of dropped it near her feet. Immediately, she grabbed it and dragged it straight down to the burrow, this huge mealworm. And I can't, I just can't impart on you the sense of relief there was for us there. Because we thought we'd failed as owners, we thought we'd done something wrong. But in reality, Ember was just doing what her species of tarantula do. Hide, molt, do whatever. And it's completely normal for them. So once she had her first meal, those burrows are now open and occasionally we will see her and we'll pop in the food. And if you are in your owner, this can be a bit worrying, but also a bit boring, honestly. You know, if you're looking for a tarantula and they're going to be spending most of their time in burrows, maybe a different species of tarantula or maybe a different pet will be a better idea. If you do have that patience and you do want to keep on with it, then why not? You know, they're very beautiful. And hopefully over time, Ember will start webbing up, get more confident when she reaches her adult size and be more on display for us to see. But again, the, if, the, I suppose the point of this video is be patient, observe your tarantula, do your homework as much as possible. Don't go for, to one source of information, look at loads of them because some people will tell you leave it alone and you'll leave it alone forever and it'll be gone or some people will tell you never do anything or um, you know dig it up inst instantly and it's going to be very confusing. So be patient, wait, observe your tarantula and then give it a decent amount of time before you even consider doing anything. Try and go for the middle ground because that often works. It works for these little guys and it works for inverse too. Because decides she's going to sit this way, so that's what people's going to do. Um, so again, 
do be patient, don't panic, it is normal, keep offering the food and if they are molting don't disturb them because it's really important. If you like this video please feel free to comment down below, I'd love to hear your experience if you had something similar as well. But in the meantime from me and Pickles and Ember and all the other inverts behind and Scampi who's crawling on the bed, take care and see you later.